The real estate market is on fire. So what's the secret to getting your offer accepted? This is Scott Compa, and I've been asked by many agents how we're getting our offers accepted by sellers, as we have some agents on our team that are closing 11 deals a month. So if you've been submitting offers for your buyers, or even if you're watching this, looking for your own dream home, you know the demand and competition for houses is pretty intense. So how do you win a bidding war? In most cases, the key is to choose a strategy that fits the need of the seller. So do you want the secret sauce? Here's some of my tips for bidding war victories. The first one, it might seem common sense, and that's to offer the highest price on your first offer. Yeah, it might seem obvious, but there's still buyers in this market. They're submitting lowball offers, thinking that the seller might call for a highest and best. And then you know what? The seller just goes and they accept an offer. Another tip is to use an escalation clause in your offer. And unfortunately, there's a lot of agents. They don't know what they are and they don't know how to properly use them. Many agents, they even advise their clients against accepting them. And a tip is most agents will make the escalator a thousand dollars and that's not the best choice. The better choice would be, would be to make it substantial, let's say $5,000, because if you're only $1,000 more, there might be another offer that's really less, but it has better terms for the seller. And a big one, cash is king. So when there's multiple offers on a property, cash offers get sellers attention. Now keep in mind, you have to exercise extreme caution as we've had cash offers presented to us and then it turns out the buyers didn't actually have the cash. And ah, the love letter. A personal letter can put you ahead of other buyers in a big way, but you have to be careful the letter does not violate any fair housing rules or discriminate against anybody. So use caution on what you include in the letter on this one. Another big one, use a local trusted lender. There's many agents, you know, they frown upon receiving an offer from some spaceship mortgage company or other online lenders. Simply, these companies, they have great marketing, but my experience is they rarely close on time. So ask your real estate agent what company they prefer receiving pre-approvals from. A big one is to waive your financing contingency. Now wait a second, Scott, that could mean I lose my earnest money deposit and more if I don't buy it for some reason. Yes, but to avoid that stress, simply get a fully underwritten loan approval. Now not every lender is gonna issue these. So if you need a list of lenders that will, let me know and I'm always happy to share. So in our standard real estate contract, the buyer retains rights to do inspections and if there's necessary repairs, the seller shall fix items in the contract or it can be declared null and void. But in this market, waiving home inspections can be what it takes to get your offer accepted over another buyer's. Now, I don't recommend you waive your inspections, but it's an option. So if you didn't want to waive the inspection completely, you can always ask for an extremely short inspection period of one week or less instead of the standard 14 days. And finally, sometimes it's not the highest offer that gets the offer accepted. Sometimes it's as easy as asking when the seller wants to sell and closing at their convenience. You know, another option is that you buy the home, but then you rent it back to the seller for a short amount of time. Now make sure you check with your lender because some loans mandate you have to occupy the home in a certain amount of dates. You know, you can rent back the property to the seller and that really helps actually the seller buy their next property so they don't have to, you know, do that purchase with the home sale contingency. So really, you wanna to talk to a professional real estate agent? Now, review them. You know, look up their reviews. Make sure you check the reviews on Google, on Zillow, and make sure your agent is not only knowledgeable, but always well liked by other real estate agents, as that can go a long way in getting offers accepted, because not all agents are created equally. Now, I hope you can take something away from this and help your business of being a better agent or buying your own home. Like or subscribe if you want to hear more tips. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or want to discuss your plan to win the next bidding war.